talk to me about tell me to about one of the worst experiences that you've you've come across during your you've been doing this for how long no. Yeah, for a few years. Few years. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just call it a few years. Okay. <laughs> um, so, like, one of the worst things that, that you know, I've experienced, you know, I'll even go back to my mom. My mom ran a really, really fantastic mortgage company in the height of the broker era, um, you know, before the 2008 crash. And she had eight offices going at full steam with, you know, 10 agents in each office. And she created this off-site processing which is now very popular, but back then it wasn't. So she had lenders come into her. And um, so she was in the height. She had brought me into the business um, early on and uh, she got an offer to sell it. And, you know, in 1997, it was close to a million and she turned it down because she wasn't ready to retire. And in hindsight, that we should have taken that offer, but she didn't think it through. And I wasn't in the skill set to say, hey, here's some ideas for you. And so 2008 came, and we all know that was the big you know, bust yeah, for, yeah, for mortgages. Yeah. And around 2010, 2011, she ended up closing her last office with a you know, bunch of furniture and a couple of copiers. You know, She really didn't plan the out. She thought I would be the out. And it wasn't really my gig. And so, you know, she didn't have any other strategies for it and just kind of closed the doors, which was a huge mistake because we put our blood, sweat, tears, nights, weekends, savings, you know, our our paycheck because we work in less than minimum wage when we get that business rolling. (laughs) And and we don't have a, a plan to get that money back. And I think that's the missing piece really is, is to have that plan. 